All right, guys, I am back for the start of the next journal we're going to work on. Um, this one, I think actually it's going to be kind of a series of two. Um, this is Lorna's new autumn kit or one of them. She's got two out now. Um, so anyways, I apologize. The dogs are going a little bit crazy. We have a baby lynx, um, kind of terrorizing the neighborhood the last few weeks. And so anyways, let me show you her kit and then I'll kind of show you what we're going to do. Um, I guess I think, I think thinking about it, I want to break it into two kits cause it's huge. It's like a 20 eight page kit and then Lorna or usually always gives you like the cover like um the, uh, I think she names it the cover and that's like the little pieces on Etsy that you see with all the like the tiles of what's in the kit um so but I just printed the 28 so and I backed it with one of my coffee dyed papers just like photocopied it on there so very gorgeous kit, um, kind of right up my alley and what I've been looking for. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about this one because um, if you'll remember, um, Lorna sent me um, this kit here, the distressed um, plaids and the autumn song. So, I mean, they go like perfectly together. Um, and yeah, once you start seeing some of these, you'll know why I'm going to split it. So... The majority of this kit go perfect with that placemat that I showed you a couple weeks ago. And then we get into some of the other graphics. Like this one will be perfect for that, don't you think? Like, I mean, there's just like a refresher. Do you think that'd be perfect? I think it'll be amazing. Again, we'll get to that one um, shortly. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And then once I, uh, I can't wait for you to see some of the other kit here. So I'm, I know I'm flipping kind of fast and probably off camera, I'll split it because I think all total is like 25 pages that are not ephemera. And so, um, it'll be, it'll be relatively easy. Isn't this gorgeous? And look at, look at the detail on this girl's sweater. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Okay. So, and I've been having a hankering. Are they, it's so okay. cute. I love it. I love this kit, Lorna. Well done. Um, yeah. So anyways, where was I? Um, I forgot. And uh, for those of you that are curious, the paper I use to print on is, um, it's pen pal, but it's like the heavier, uh, printer paper. Um, it's a little bit thicker and just a little bit better quality. Um, so yeah, so like I said, can you see now why I'm going to break it into two kits? Because I've been having a hankering to make um, um, another one of those rip journals um, that, uh, it's, I think it's Crafty Pantaloons, I think, but I don't think she does videos anymore. Um, she did it a few years ago, and I absolutely love that style, and I haven't made one in about a year. So, and then look at these. Isn't this adorable? And it's so pretty. I love these girls. That one reminds me of Hermione Granger on um, Harry Potter. And then look. Yeah, the cute. Oh my goodness. I love these girls. Um, so yeah, I am going to pause the video for a second and get the next stuff kind of put together. And then I'll be... Well, actually, you know, I don't have to do that because I have kind of what I need now. Okay, so you saw one of the covers and I'll probably construct that one um, off camera. I mean, we might cut it. I don't know. I haven't, again, it's it's going to be, that one's going to be kind of a process. So the um, thing that I, the one I want to make is basically, um, It's a, it's a rip, I call it a rip journal. I'm not really sure what she called it, um, but I call it that just because, yeah. So then, let's see, our journal covers are usually six inches. So that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, hold on. One, two, three. Why, don't, why did I do that? Let's just do two inches. How about that? And then, so then it would be eight, would be six, right? From there, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I usually go out just a little bit more on each side. That's why I did that. Okay. So, and then I'm going to mark this. No, we go up nine. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't actually do that, huh? <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay, so two, three, four, five. Let's see, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. All right. So, yeah, nine inches tall, six inches wide. All right. I'm going to show you kind of why that's important in a minute. Okay, and so then six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna go out just a little bit more to give ourselves a little bit of playroom, okay? All right, so what we do, and those of you that have finger issues, this may be pretty, pretty tough to do, but I do do it folded in half still, okay? And you'll kind of see why in a minute. Is because we want the outsides to match, right? And we want to try to stay away from the six inch mark as much as possible, okay? Like I need to back out a little bit over here and I'm gonna go ahead and rip all the way down to the bottom, rip it off and then honestly, I usually throw that away because it has then become too kind of unstable, I guess. the last one I did like this was for a, uh, it was with a butterfly. So hold on, let me make sure we're, we're about nine inches tall. Yep, we're about that. I'm gonna go ahead and take just a tiny bit more here. Not much, just a little, maybe, if I can get my fingers to work. Like I said, if you have finger issues, you might have issues doing that. About the six, yeah, we're about six and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip out just a little bit more. Oops, let me do that. Sometimes you kind of have to get creative on how you're taking it up. Dogs. Oh, did we go too far? No, but I'm still over the six inch mark a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have this, right? Okay. So now it's kind of where we start to build the edges and the colors. Um, and I generally use another. Another one like this. Let's see. Sorry, I'm just grabbing some colors I think we that might go well over here. Not sure where the purples might go pretty well. That's pretty fall related. The blue might be a little too bright. I don't want black. Though, here, what if we did... Oh, oh. Again, I'm just going to be trying a couple of different things, okay? Alright, so I'm going to grab my brush. And we're just going to start kind of coloring in here. And we're going to work from the in outside in. Sometimes they don't... Especially if they're starting to get dry, right? Which I would assume some of this is. Oh, she just won't quit. It's Grace's dog. Something's got her all worked up. Okay, so we had this lynx, and the lynx wiped out all my chickens and my ducks. 
wiped out the neighbor's chicken and ducks. All of our guinea hens. Yeah, it's it's been it's been a summer. Not really sure where this little little one came from, but my friend got it on off of her trail cam. So yeah, interesting times. I was telling Grace, and she's like, "Why do we have such issues with livestock?" Like. I think it really just boils down to security. I don't think we've built it up enough. Like we finally got the owls to stop taking the chickens because we put this net over the top. And then, yeah, it's... go back and do the inside cover too because the one thing about these journals is they don't they like you're when we start putting on the other things like the go ahead and start it now when we go um when we're putting on the mod podge that's what's going to kind of strengthen it and then what we add um like to the inside covers and stuff, which I generally add, um, like, uh, cart or, um, yeah, cardstock to kind of strengthen it. And then I usually do like a fabric, like I usually do on these. So, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to go all the way in here. Like I did on the front cover, because like I said, I usually use some cardstock to reinforce it. So yes, the edges are a little bit wonky, right? Um, I, I say that and then I just covered the whole thing. <laughs> um, but that said, um, it just kind of helps reinforce everything. So I think we'll manage to kind of get the, this cover well on its way. Um, I might have to have you talk amongst yourselves for a second while I go grab my paintbrush to put the Mod Podge on if we feel like we have what we want on it. If not, I might do that off camera, but I'll show you what I'm using so that um, you kind of just get a feel for it, if you will. Okay, now I'm going to use this lighter brown. And since I'm kind of doing it here, I'm going to use this as a test to kind of see if we like the colors together um, for this one, as far as doing a little bit of like light stamping in the back. Like I, I was going to say, don't worry about being rough with it as far as like bending edges and stuff, because um, that's kind of the mystique, I guess, if you will. I was really wondering, as I thought, that there was a, another stencil, too, that we're on a scent with that one, but I only have the bubble one handy. So if there is one, I don't know where it is. Yeah, it's just the Moon and Stars one that I have right now. I don't think I really have a leaf one. I have Crafty Cats, like leaf, like fall leaf one, but that one's really huge. Not really what I'm looking for. The other thing I was thinking about is maybe stamping some of these, some of these leaves in there. Just kind of like randomly all over it. like in different colors too, maybe. I don't know. So I was like, we'll stamp it here and see if we like it. And how dark we should go, right? Okay, 
this. This is the potting soil. And I kind of slid, so I have to try to really be careful not to slide. Because we really just want like an impression of it. We don't really want it very dark. Yeah, that's like really dark. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see I keep sliding it. Yeah, I just don't think I think that's too dark. Looking to see if maybe I had something a little lighter. It's coffee. Potting soil. Not the archival. I don't really have a lighter brown, so that's a little bit darker than I want to go. Let me see if I use like an older ink pad of the coffee kind of more drier maybe. Let's just try it. I stuck my finger in the ink. That's better, right? Let's do, let's do a couple. And I don't even, like, I don't mind if it's a little bit faded or whatever. Like, that's kind of I don't know what I'm going for anyways. flip that over. That would not be good, huh? <laughs> Leaves like totally. Opposite of each other. That would not be awesome. Sorry, I just got really quiet there. I'm just really focused there. Okay. Okay. I think I like that. The last one, I didn't quite do it like that, but I like this one, the way it's shaping up. separate because that one's the old one. All right. No, nope, I'm not going to do the inside. Okay. So another reason I did it the way I did it is because, or with the inks I did is because the archival inks aren't going to bleed when I use this. So give me two seconds. Let me grab my paintbrush. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. 
um, I, like I, I think I said in the last video, I'm making a, a journal for a friend. And so that one's kind of just going to be off screen. Um, it's not really, I want to say it's not one to write home about because it looks pretty, but it's a masculine journal and I'm not really sure, you know, anyways, doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter what I was going to say. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I really coat those edges to give it a little bit of uh, firmness, if you will. And I'm using the um, uh, Antique Mod Podge. I get it on Amazon. Um, I always preface by saying it stinks to high heaven. So if you're sensitive to uh, smell, I would highly suggest maybe not getting that one. And my pen marks will disappear under fabric, so maybe, maybe we don't want that little debris on there. And I know it doesn't seem like it's going to be very thick and very sturdy, but trust me, they, they end up being really, really sturdy in the end. It's like I keep making it slip, huh? Oops. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I like I got it all over. It's it's kind of a mess at the moment. It won't be when we get done with it, but and um this antique Mod Podge puts just a tiny bit of a sheen onto it. But other than that, it works pretty great. It's pretty awesome. It's my favorite Mod Podge. I'm not a huge fan of Mod Podge in general, but I really like that one. And then when we get get it all dry and everything, then I'll go back over the top of it with um, around the edges with uh, um, walnut stain. Um, and then maybe gold on the edges um, to kind of finish it out. I don't know. We'll see how it looks with all that. So yeah, I'm like I said, it doesn't. It's not. It's not going to change a ton of what we just did as far as colors, but it does put just a little bit of. It'll have more sturdiness, um, less ripability, I guess. Um, and then once it's dry, then I'll do the other side. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and call that a video and um, I will just see you in the next one. Bye guys.